All right. What do you want? Is this outside? Just how fit are you, Sarah? Going to try to swim for it. Can I help the little thing? I bet you could make it all so close. <sighs> Why are you such an asshole? What is this? Is this something over here? I'm not gonna go in the water, I know that means I'm gonna die or something. Better than being in there, though. I'm so glad to be out of there and outside. <gasps> flares! That means I'm still gonna need them. Lit flares, fa oh yeah. I thought it said like, lens shadow or something, I was like, what? Oh. Uh, I don't know what that was. It is our fear that makes us heal our humanity, corrupting us with each delicate thread. What is your problem, dude? Leave me, let me go. Oh, yeah, I can. Boxes with ropes can be moved. Where is it? Was I supposed to do that? It's telling me to use. Do I have to do something first? Okay. Oh, I got ya. Nice! Okay, I didn't know that was gonna do that. Sweet. So, there's a thing over here. Employee believed to have survived the fall but died afterwards from injuries. Unexplained loss of eyes, though some believe this could have happened in the fall. Doctors doctors wanted to perform an aut autopsy, but we're ruling this one an accident. Moving on, family of the deceased has been notified. That's great. All right, we're going to push this and climb this. We are moving along here. Just going to keep climbing up. And we are gonna make this, man. We gonna do this. We gonna do this. We've come a long way, Sarah. Do we have to go in here? Why do we have to go in there? Here's the thing. Charter boat catches fire June 16th. The tragedy once again strikes New Kipling, this time as the charter boat Compass Lily caught fire when rounding the coast of Mid-Island. It is believed that 13... 1,342 people were on board at the time, and only 332 have been since confirmed alive. The survivors were rushed to Mid-Island Hospital and given immediate care. Unexplained occurrences on jobs. Numerous complaints that workers have been seeing things. When asked to elaborate, some have said they see people out of the corner of their eye only to turn and nothing is there. A general sense of dread and being watched seems to be affecting all workers. The highest volume of complaints comes from the night shift, which has gone so far as to state seeing actual people within the construction area. Alright. Well, we're in a new area. I right, have little two areas to go to here. Here's another note. Charter boat catches fire. According to official investigations, we believe that the accident was caused by a problem in the engine room. It has also been discovered that all safety protocols were incredibly substandard, and rumors around the boat's chief engineer was mentally unstable. The company that owned the Compass Alea stated that they are deeply sorry for what has happened and has promised that it will use state-of-the-art safety procedures from now on. That's a horrible thing to say. But there's something here, too. It's been a long week, and it's not getting any shorter. Everyone's been working extra long hours since the ferry crash. Nobody knows what to say to each other anymore. My sister died on that boat, but you don't see me slowing down because of it. These patients need us, even the ones who can't muster more than a blank stare into space, even the ones who can't stop reliving the nightmares of watching their friends and loved ones drown because of a madman. We all do what we can because we must. Nurse Elizabeth Daniels. Wow, way to mourn your sister's death. 
Either you're a per good person for doing it, but a bad person, bad sister for doing it. I don't see anything else here on the dock. All right. I love when you finish a little area off. <laughs> it's so rewarding. It's like, done, done. To the edge of the miraculous. What? Are you going to tell me there's people living here? Huh? Oh, great. Guess what I have to do? I have to collect five Redmonds. I need remnants. Uh, this is gonna be. I'm, I, I know it's gonna be. What? Just looking for remnants. That's all I ask. Oh <gasps> no! Flare of death. Flare of death for you. Flare of death. It makes you die and it makes me happy. Avoid the shadows. Okay, I will try. I'm looking for freaking remnants. They shine in the light. What's up here? Something's up here. Has to be. Stop! Stop it. No! Whoa! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alright. Give me the flares. No! No! Stop! Flare for you. Flare for you. Is there anything here other than this? There's no remnants. There's a house or something here. I suppose something's in here. Shut up. Brian, we had to temporarily suspend excavating the foundation for the new hospital add-on site. One of the workers discovered human remains inside a pine box while digging. We haven't told anyone at the hospital yet. I've asked the team to keep this up to themselves while we determine how to proceed. The body itself looks really, really old, so I don't think we need to alert anyone if we don't have to, especially with the growing concern over the un un unfortunate accidents we've had. Joe. Oh, I found a thing. I found it. That's good. Remnants. That's what we need, though. I'm using flares. I don't care. New Kipling has now partnered up with G-something-C Investments Corp. to renovate Mid-Island and eventually establish a hospice care facility due to the GC's generosity. Sections of the Mid Island Hospital have now been renovated and reopened. Once the hospice has been completed, hospital staff will move be moved over there. The old Mid Island Hospital will be torn down. The tor the town of New Kipling is excited for the opportunity to revitalize and rebuild a staple of the city's history. Ooh. I don't think that's what the spirits want, to be honest. With you! Oh, shit! Nope. I don't think so. Okay, so two things done. Let's go off here. We need to find buildings. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Just run. We need more remnants. This way, that way, this way, that way. Shut up. I know I'm looking for... Looking for a building or something. What the fuck? Stop! <laughs> oh god damn! Go away! Go away! <laughs> Go away! I can't look at the map. I need to look at the map. Where is... Stop! What the fuck is that? What the hell, man? What is this? This is something. Okay, I found the exit. Gotta be a key. I found the exit. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stupid! Stupid! I found the exit. I don't have many flares left. 
I'm just gonna try to run. Stop it. I'm just gonna run. Is this the building I was in? <gasps> this is a building. Life is but a butterfly's dream. Shut up. Access the River Plague, Big Island, Hospice Project. Investments corp stock price plunged 30% yesterday, almost amidst damaging rumors connected to the already troubled construction project. According to an anonymous source within the company, several graves were found on site, thought to be over 300 years old. Though the contents of the grave is yet to be unknown, the same anonymous source speculated about the possibility that the graves are Native American archaeological re relics. If true, this could be no doubt pushed back to construction or halted altogether. Shut up. What is this? Is this something I can open? Oh, that's great. There's nooses in here. <gasps> stop it. Just stop. Oh, I hate you so much, you dirtbag. Oh, that was bad. I have one flare. Just gonna run. What is this? This is something. Stop! Stop it! This one's teleporting. I'm ready. Wait. Oh, I thought this was something. What is that? I found the graves. Stop. Stop it! Stop it, okay. We're looking for... Notes. I don't have any more page or flares left. Come on. Is that a note? No. Great. I found one. Oh, uh, something's gonna attack me. Great. Pressured by Liberal Councilman Anthony Wasserman, a new Kipling City Council has been considering whether or not to investigate safety practices at GC Investment Corp's Mid Island Hospice Project. Which has been under construction for some time. The project has been set back on three separate occasions by fatal accidents, all involving the death of construction workers. In my nine years on the council, I've never seen a more disastrous construction project. GC has been cited numerous times for safety violations, but this particular project stinks to high heaven. And I'm determined to get to the bottom of this, said Wasserman at Thursday's council meeting. He was opposed by Councilwoman Shirley Johnson, who has been asked by several label groups to abstain from the vote due to her connections to GC Investment Corp. Nope. It's I'm gonna die. Just run. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my god, it's getting closer. I can hear it. I can hear it. I, I don't have any flares left. I'm just gonna run. It can't catch me. It can't catch me. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. Nope. Can't catch me because I'm going to run. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. What is that? Something. Something. Ahead. There's a page. There's a thingy here. Where is it? Where was it? What the fuck? No! Why do you keep doing this to me? I just want the well. It's over this way. It's over this way. It's over this way. I think I saw something. I found it. Oh my god. Miss Francis fell into a trench we had just poured cement into. He's alive. But he was moved into Mid Island Hospital Emergency to his leg, lungs checked for inhalation. And I'm so scared right now. His replacement is scheduled to come tomorrow. Regarding guards would be posted as this is a surge such incident where someone inexpectedly fell, starting to suspect that someone's pushing them. Run! I got it! I got it. What is that?
Hmm, <laughs> hmm,